quotes of Swami Vivekananda to change your life forever. Fearlessness Man has got this body simply to realize self-knowledge. If you follow the common run of people in the world and float with the gentle current, where then is your manliness? Well, the common people are going to the jaws of death. But you have come to conquer it. Advance like a hero. Don't be thwarted by anything. How many days will this body last with its happiness and misery? When you have got the human body, then rouse the Atman within and say, I have reached the state of fearlessness. Say, I am the Atman in which my lower ego has become merged forever. Be perfect in this idea. And then, as long as the body endures, speak unto others this message of fearlessness. Thou art that. Arise, awake, and stop not till the goal is reached. Try to manifest this Atman and you will see your intellect penetrating into all subjects. The intellect of one who has not realized the Atman is one-sided, whereas the genius of the knower of the Atman is all-embracing. With the manifestation of the Atman, you will find that science, philosophy and everything will be easily mastered. Proclaim the glory of the Atman with the roar of a lion and impart fearlessness unto all beings by saying, Arise, awake and stop not till the goal is reached. Loss of money or loss of anything else, I cannot bother about and I will not. When I fight, I fight with girded lions. That much I fully understand. And I also understand that man, that hero, that god who says, Don't care, be fearless. Oh brave one, here I am by your side. To such a man god, I offer a million salutations. Their presence purifies the world. They are the saviors of the world. And the others who always wail, Oh, don't go forward. There is this danger, there is that danger. Those dyspeptics, they always tremble with fear. But through the grace of the Divine Mother, my mind is so strong that even the most terrible dyspepsia shall not make me a coward. To cowards, what advice shall I offer? Nothing whatsoever have I to say. But this I desire, that I should find shelter at the feet of those brave souls who dare to do great deeds even though they fail to succeed. Of those heroes who never quailed nor shirked, of those fighters who never disobeyed orders through fear or pride. I am the child of the Divine Mother, the source of all power and strength. To me, cringing, fanning, whining, degrading inertia and hell are one and the same thing. O oh, Mother of the Universe, O oh, my Gurudeva, who would constantly say, this is a hero, I pray that I may not have to die a coward. O oh, hero, awake and dream no more. Death has caught you by the forelock. Still fear not. What I have never done, fleeing from the battle. Well, will that happen today? For fear of defeat, shall I retreat from the fight? Defeat is the ornament the hero adorns himself with. What? To acknowledge defeat without fighting? May mother enshrine herself in your hearts as strength. The support that has fearlessness. May she make you all fearless. This I have seen in life. He who is overcautious about himself falls into dangers at every step. He who is afraid of losing honor and respect gets only disgrace. He who is always afraid of loss always loses. We are like the cattle driven to the slaughterhouse, hastily nibbling a bite of grass on the roadside as they are driven along under the whip. And all this is our work, our fear. Fear, the beginning of misery, of disease, etc. By being nervous and fearful, we injure others. By being so fearful to hurt, we hurt more. By trying so much to avoid evil, we fall into its jaws. What a mass of namby-pamby nonsense we create round ourselves. It does us no good. 
it leads us on to the very thing we try to avoid misery oh to become fearless to be daring to be careless of everything be bold and fearless and the road will be clear behold how men are already in the jaws of the shark of infatuation oh listen to their piteous heartrending wails advance forward oh ye brave souls to set free those that are in fetters to lessen the burden of woe of the miserable and to illumine the abysmal darkness of ignorant hearts look how the vedanta proclaims by the beat of drums be fearless may that solemn sound remove the hearts not of all denizens of the earth the mother child shall be a hero a mahavira in happiness sorrow death and desolation the mother child shall always remain fearless be bold and fear not it is only in our scriptures that this adjective is given unto the lord abhi abhi we have to become abhi fearless and our task will be done arise awake for your country needs this tremendous sacrifice it is the young men that will do it the young the energetic the strong the well built the intellectual for them is the task be not afraid for all great power throughout the history of humanity has been with the people from out of their ranks have come all the greatest geniuses of the world and the history can only repeat itself be not afraid of anything you will do marvelous work the moment you fear you are nobody it is fear that is the great cause of misery in the world it is fear that is the greatest of all superstitions it is fear that is the cause of all our woes and it is fearlessness that brings heaven even in a moment therefore arise awake and stop not till the goal is reached